this is a cutter X uh, three system here, switch on the machine from the back side is a button. Then you will see here message auto test and system is got ready. So first of all, you have to connect the tubing with the machine. This is the auto clavable tubing. You can connect the tubing like this way. This is the first retention ring and this is the second retention ring here. And then you put this aspiration tube into the bottle. Here's a waste bottle. And then you connect the IV set of the ringer with this with this tubing and then you ensure it it should be in this is out this is in and ensure the clamp is on the tubing so we have connected the tubing like this way here are the two free end of the IA tubing here then you connect the FECO handpiece with the machine and then you connect this irrigation and aspiration tubing with the FECO handpiece. Then you open the cap of the handpiece. Here is the regular tip inside. This is a protector with tip. You mount the tip on the FECO handpiece and you tighten it with the regular key. You press it like this way and then you mount like this. So two forces, one is in this way and other is in this way. After mounting the tip, you can mount the sleeve on the, on the tip and then you, it should be ensure the, the front 1 mm, the front ball broad part of the tip should be out from the sleeve. So then you mount the chamber on the tip. Here is the test chamber, you can mount on the tip, it should be not be free. Then you go open the clamp for irrigation because and then you press the FECO one and then and the pre-off button here. The system will run, it will fill and rinse the tubing, all the tubing. We fill the tubing, all the tubing, and you can see the water will be coming in the chamber. You fill the chamber and then you mount at the chamber, and you take the, all the air from the handpiece into the chamber. You knock the handpiece in this vertical direction, and then you wait for until the system show here yeah, the message OK. The P of fill and ring is running and here is the percentage of the completion of the P of and after it reaching to the 100% it will show here the FICO test active and then you will see the message the FICO test OK and you will also hear the noise of the ultrasound from the handpiece. It is okay then system will automatically go to the FECO1. This FECO1 setting is for the sculpting. After sculpting or breaking the nucleus into two or three pieces, then you, you press the button FECO2. Remember this option you can also do with the foot paddle. Uh, you can change the FECO1, FECO2, FECO2, FECO3 in right direction horizontally. So the your system is ready for the FECO and if you the second step is the I and A. After removal the nucleus, you will remove the cortex. Here are the coaxial I and A handpiece. Here is the tip. You can mount the tip by just pressing it. And then you mount the sleeve on the on the I and A. Be careful the tip should come from the center of the sleeve not on the lateral side of the sleeve throat so you can disconnect the IND tubing from the FECO handpiece and then you reconnect it with the IND handpiece of the
machine. Then here are the option to select the I and A mode. So I and A mode, you can press I and A mode button here. And here is the CTX button. You can also press the CTX mode. And here are the settings for the I and A. It is uh, ranging. You can select from 22 to 23 or 24 like this and then 500 vacuum for the I and A. So you will activate the I and A mode by foot switch. First step is irrigation, then second is the vacuum occlusion and the third one is the aspiration. So you can do in this way. And during this uh, surgery, if you need uh, some uh, vitectomy, like, uh, like uh, you have a capsule rupture during the surgery, you can use this vitectomy hand, uh, hand piece. This is the cutter. And here are the two pipes going to the machines. And here are the two ports on the machine. One is the green and one is the black. So you can connect the green with green and black with black tightly. And you select the function of vitectomy here. Vitectomy. Here are the setting for the vitectomy. 1200 cuts, 1500, 15 ml per minute flow rate and 250 is the vacuum for the vitectomy. So you can uh, connect the tubing, IA tubing, the aspiration tubing should be connected to this white. And rem remember that this, this, this uh, cutter is the disposable cutter. You cannot autoclave it, but you can uh, reuse if, uh, by autoclavation, by sterilization is with the and proline. So here is the cutter. Our cutter is ready. The aspiration port and irrigation port. You can use a second port, the side port. You can connect here the Simcoe cannula or any handle which is uh, used to deliver the irrigation in the eye. So in this way, the vitectomy will be work with the foot paddle. Here is the handpiece for the diathermy. And uh, diathermy handpiece has a connect one connector and this is the port for the diathermy. You can connect the diathermy handpiece connector with the machine. And the other end is, uh, is the handpiece and you can connect uh, any diathermy instrument like bipolar forceps, like uh, eraser tip or you can use the capsulotomy tip for the capsular access. For diathermy, you press the button here, dia, and you will get the function on the display. And then you can use the diathermy laser tip here, and you can adjust the power from 0 to 100 percent on the panel with, the, with these two buttons. So your diathermy is ready. In the same way, if you want to use the capsulotomy you can mount the capsulotomy tip on this diathermy handpiece and you have to select the function here, the caps, T-A-P-S, caps. So this is the capsulotomy regular and you can use the high mode while working uh, on the pediatric surgery on the children. So normally it is used on the regular. So your capsulotomy is ready and you can do the capsule army by pressing the foot pedal like here. So this is all about uh, the function in the machine. These are the major function and you can use it. In FACO mode, here is the one button. This is the IRR. This is the irrigation. This is used uh, to activate the continuous irrigation. And here you can see the IRR on the on the panel, it means your irri continuous irrigation mode is activated. If you want to stop the irrigation, continuous irrigation, you can switch it off or you can switch it on the, the continuous irrigation. So this is the main function. I hope you will do it as you own in your hospital. Here is one uh, other uh, type of the tip. This is the disposable tip. This, with, this is the disposable key. 
If you want to use uh, this disposable tip, you can mount this disposable this tip on the handpiece by this key only. So, thank you very much for your understanding.